In early January 2019, volunteers from the Save Grange Lido campaign group and their advisors were given access to the Lido site. Planning and costing continues in their campaign to reopen the Art Deco Lido. Once a very busy and much loved community asset, the 25 years since closure have left it in a sad state. But people are still curious. It still has an atmosphere. The feel of a good place. A place that gave so many happy memories to so many people for so many years. Grange Lido was formally opened on August the 18th, 1932, one of 180 open-air pools built in Britain between 1930 and 1939. On August bank holiday in 1932, over 6,000 people visited the Lido in one day, and it could then attract 60,000 visitors a year. It celebrated its 50th anniversary in 1982 with a celebration gala. From the 1960s onwards, many outdoor pools were closed and demolished. Grange Lido managed to book this trend until, in 1993, a report made clear that the necessary improvements carried out in the 1970s were past their reasonable lifetime, and that the cost of maintaining the outdoor seawater pool was considered unfeasible. And so, the Lido sadly closed its doors. However, in August 2011, it was granted Grade 2 listed status by Historic England as a rare and complete example of a 1930s Lido with the survival of all its key buildings. An entrance block with upper viewing gallery. Sun decks. Detached changing wings, terraces, pump house, paddling pool, stepped diving stage and its unusual mushroom shaped pool. In recent years there has been a huge national resurgence in the popularity of outdoor pools. Restored Lido's across the country are attracting increasing numbers of visitors. Members of the Save Grange Lido team have visited many of these and have benefited from their practical and business planning advice. So perhaps with some imagination, hard work, faith and commitment, Grange Lido could also be restored to its original purpose for a new generation. <laughs>